all right welcome back this is melissa b and i know my hair is kind of like crazy today but if you know then you know i live in florida and this is what humidity does to your hair so we're gonna go with it today okay but this is gonna be a video on how to be able to successfully pass your HESI anatomy and physiology portion of your test because I know we all struggle with it. If you're watching this video, you probably are either about to take your test, you already have taken it and you struggle with this portion of the test or I don't know, you just watching this video, boo. Okay, but if you wanna know how to be able to pass this test, then stay tuned and you also can hit that subscribe button below. I am in nursing school, I finally made it in and I am gonna be doing some videos on here about nursing, the different HESI tests and stuff like that. So if you wanna stay tuned, just stay tuned. All right, All right. so I am gonna go over um, some, just some different things to talk about how to be able to pass the test. So my number one is for you to be able to learn your learning style. You wanna know how to learn your learning style. I know it's so redundant, like, oh my God, people keep saying that, right? But it's very important, especially for something like this where you're taking a test, you're taking a test that's only gonna give you 25 questions out of a whole two semester test. And a normal semester is 16 weeks, so you're taking a 32 week class, 32 week two class, um, and you're only getting 25 questions out of that whole 32 weeks. So, you know, you definitely wanna know your learning style because this is a lot of information that you're gonna have to put into your brain. You wanna be able to know how am I gonna be able to absorb that information back into my brain, okay? So for me, I'm an audio and visual learner, which means that I need to be able to see the information and also hear the information for it to go into my brain. So like my eyes have to see it and then it has to go through my ears all at the same time for me to be able to get it up here, okay? So there are some people that literally can just read the book and never, and they can visualize what's going on up here. That don't work for me, okay? So know your learning style. Also, so you wanna make a schedule. Don't try to give yourself enough time to be able to have to study this information. It's a lot of information. It's gonna be very important when you get into nursing school because you're taking this test to get into nursing school. It's gonna be very important that you know this information in nursing school because everything that you're gonna learn from this information here is just gonna be your foundation for everything that you're gonna learn in nursing school. So you definitely wanna make sure that you know this information and because it's really important when you get there, if you don't know it, now you gotta go back and look it up anyway. So uh, give yourself enough time to be able to study the information. For me, I took a whole month and I scheduled my date already for my test. I took a whole month to be able to look at the information. I did the first two weeks, I wrote out a schedule and I wrote you know, what sections I wanted to go over each day and I would come home from work, I would sit at my desk and when I sat at my desk, I would not get up from that desk until I was done looking over the information that I knew that I needed to for that night. And that was just due to dedication and knowing that, that this was something I wanted to do and I was gonna do it and I was gonna pass it. Hell or high water, okay? So, you know, give yourself enough time and make a schedule and then what I did the third week is I just reviewed the information, okay? Um, you want to make sure that you teach the information back to yourself. So what I would do is when I learned something, you know, I would review it. And when I reviewed it, I taught it back to myself. So sometimes in the morning on my way to work, I would go over the information, literally like just saying, okay, this synovial joint does this, the arteries and the heart do this, da 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 I have a whiteboard in my house that was left here for me. And I will write that stuff out on the board because me writing the information out just sometimes... I could see it on the board and it regular um, registers in my brain so I would write it out for me I also take all my notes and I write out my notes in pencil so honey that helps but I taught it back to myself as if I was teaching it to you and it helped me to remember that information like I was teaching it so teach it back to yourself also you want to make sure that you have good study material um, you want, I used, used a video on YouTube by a woman named Mandy Parker. I will attach her link down below and she has both the classes, AMP 1 and 2 on there on her, as she taught the classes, she had uploaded the videos and they're on there. They're like five years old, but the information is still relevant. 
okay so definitely look at that if you're an audio visual learner or you don't have the money to take these two classes over again or whatever she has the whole the whole two classes on there and every section for the class on there so definitely look at that it's very very helpful she you know and she put it into layman terms the way that you can understand it i can understand it she used scenarios based off of her life of things that are happening to her or were happening to her and she related to the context which was really good for me to be able to understand it so i was like oh okay actually it was like i was kind of like learning her every class i'm like oh my god my teacher she did this she wasn't even my teacher okay <laughs> like this is how i remember that you know so it was actually kind of fun going through that you know but the dedication you know some of the videos are 40 minute long so like i said you have to be dedicated to it um also you want to make sure that you get this book here uh a lot of the information does come from this book now what i will say for that amp section is very very brief they are going to pull some of the questions exactly from this information in here so you do want to have this and look over it and use it as a tool but this doesn't want to be your main tool for um looking over the information because it's only very basic and there are like i said it's only 25 questions but they're not gonna pull all 25 from here and i know that for a fact actually they might maybe pull like five to seven from here okay and then they pull it from other anatomy and physiology books so you want to get this book and utilize this now i'm gonna show you this other book this one right here was a really good tool if you need like things to be able to write or bit pictures and videos say this book here does have all that stuff and it has like some fill in the blanks some different things like that i don't know if you guys can see it like some fill in the blanks it does have pictures and i use this sometime um i highlighted a little bit and i'm gonna show you so like this so it was it was really helpful this was helpful for me i didn't use it a lot but it was helpful for me okay so this is a really good tool here i ordered it off amazon um and it helped out a lot it had a lot of information in there so if you're one of those people who need pictures to write on to be able to remember all the information this is good for you okay so i am going to go over some of the things that you do need to know and make sure that you know for the test that i saw on the test a couple of times and i will say that i really saw a lot more a and p2 information on the test than i did see a and p1 okay so you want to make sure that you know you know the different parts of the cell i will say that one was on there like the different parts of the cell like what do these different parts of the cell like if you had a cell um you know let's say something like eh, what you know like what was the cell membrane you know what was its function um what did it do so it did have the different parts of the cell anatomical position right anatomical position was on there it might have been only one question on anatomical position because remember it's only 25 so you do need to know all of them you need to know each one of the cells do the functions of the cell you want to know the anatomical position you do want to know that they're really big on joints okay so knowing your different joints and what joints are on there um and also your bone like the different layers of the bone and what um especially like the long bone what did the long bone what were the different layers of the long bone and what part did um of each of them did so this was something i did i like drew it out let's see if it'll function so that was my drawing you guys can um pause it and write it down and then this was just the different information i know to know this so i marked it at the top as know this information here so that was that one you do want to know like i said the different types of bones like uh, a ball you know in your joints like ball and socket joint i know that one was on there um your different tissues you want to know what kind of tissues are on there um let me see like i said joints was on there um you want to know your heart okay your heart is on there so you want to know the heart you want to know that you know as far as the um the, the atrium not the atrium um the atrium i always think aa away okay that's how i say it. aa away so atrial takes oxygen away from your heart and ventricles brings oxygen back to your heart okay so i know that 
also there's only one there's only one atrium in the body and one ventricle vein in the body. I'm sorry, one vein in the body that takes the that does the opposite effects, and that's your pulmonary. Okay, that so remembering that's only one. So all the other um, arteries or you know arteries take oxygen away except for the pulmonary artery so you want to remember that because that's significant so instead of trying to remember like oh this artery does this this artery does that this thing does that they they all do the same thing except for the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein it does the opposite effect okay so remember that know that that's the different you know which way the blood flows and I just kind of like went over it again and again like this goes to this this goes to that valve this goes to this valve this goes to that one and I just went over it over and over again you want to know your endocrine system like your different which um, which gland um, it's where, where is it located in the body, um, what hormone is associated with that gland. So that was definitely something on there, um, knowing, and what was the most common endocrine disorder, which is diabetes myelitis. So you want to know that, um, the endocrine system was definitely a big thing on there. Um, let's see. Your circulatory system so you do want to know like you know red like the names the official names of red blood cells white blood cells um, platelets you want to know the official names of them because when they put them on the test they're gonna give you they're not gonna say red blood cells they're gonna say you know uh, a erythrocyte or a leukocyte a erythrocyte is a red blood cell a leukocyte is a white blood cell you know and a thrombocyte is a platelet so you do want to know that they're not gonna put you know a red blood cell on there they're gonna say at the erythrocyte right so you want to know you know what does blood consist of you know is it is 55 percent plasma and 45 percent of form elements which consist of red blood cells white blood cells and platelets okay um you want to know what hemoglobin does um is a protein in the blood that carries oxygen and removes carbon dioxide so you do want to know that um you want to know leukocytes and the different um, parts of the leukocytes. There are five different types of leukocytes. You want to know that I did see neutrophil on there, um, acinophil and basophil. You definitely want to know them just because they're going to have one of them on there and you just don't know which one they're going to have. Okay, so definitely look over that information. Um, like I said, the heart, I see the heart over here. The respiratory system, you do want to go over the respiratory system. There is a portion on there that goes over the respiratory system, but remember, it might be only one question. So look over that information and where um, the different, what all is a component of the respiratory system. So where does it start? Um, like, okay, it starts in your nose or your mouth, and then it goes to your pharynx, to your larynx. So you definitely want to know that the different processes of how um, you have ventilation. So you might have pulmonary ventilation or expiration, uh, external respiration. What's the different, what do they do and what's the difference between each of them, okay? The digestive system, I did see some of the enzymes that are on there for the digestive system. You wanna know um, what is component, a component of it. Um, I did have down here an enzyme is a protein that increases the rate of a chemical activity in the body. And I put to know that information down there. So you definitely wanted to know that information about what is in the enzymes do, you know, and you know, what, what happens when you digest food in your stomach? Where does it go? So you definitely want to look over digestion. Um, you want to look over your pancreas. I look, they have pancreas on there. Your urinary system, I had a few, every time I have a couple questions on the urinary system. So you definitely want to go over that. Know, you know, the difference between a, a ureter and the urethra. So they have a question on there. I know that's a question on there. Like, what's the difference between both of them? And they look very similar. So you definitely want to be able to go over that, know the difference between each one. Um, as far as like the, like the urinary bladder, you know, like the bladder, only holds pee in it you know so you want to look over that definitely um you also want to know like some like um 
the difference between mitosis and meiosis, right? Meiosis or meiosis, uh, people say it. Now, the way I remember that is mitosis. So it has the word toe in it, right? So mitosis, you are actually making the cells for your body. So it formulates cells, like cells for your toe. Compared to meiosis or meiosis, compared to that, that one it um, is your sex cells, right? So that's a very big difference. So I remember the toe. So toe is regulated to making up the uh, body, okay? So I remember that in that manner. You wanna go over the different reproductive systems and what does a reproductive system do? Um, you know, the different hormones that are associated with the reproductive system for a female and the menstrual cycle. I have seen a few menstrual cycle questions on there. And same thing with the males. The male section is very small, but you want to go over like the um, what what way does the male use their testes, and you know you know which way do I want to say they ejaculate. I don't know if I can say that, but you know what's this different sex glands that they have on her. So you definitely want to know that information. And. You know that's a lot of information just from that um information so it's a lot of information but give yourself enough time to be able to do that i have copied these notes here that i took if you can read my writing you can understand they are i believe they are uh, i did highlight on there so i don't remember if my the copy that I made of them if you can see the highlighting or not but I made notes for that if you can understand that and you want my notes you know just send me your email down below and I would definitely try to be able to email that back to you I try to get it up in a video so that you guys can look at the notes I just was unsuccessful with doing that but hopefully you know you look, give yourself enough time to look at the information to be able to pass your test because if you don't give yourself the time to look over the information and go over it back and forth, you're not going to be able to be successful, especially if you have not seen this information in such a long time. You're not going to be able to remember 32 weeks worth of information in one week that's just realistic it's not going to happen so you know look over that information that i told you to look over if you need my notes just let me know i'm more than welcome to send that to you and i wish you guys the best and make sure that you know you just remember that you're amazing and you can do this okay don't ever feel defeated so i will see you guys again you know sorry again for my wild bushy hair but i love it so all right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.